Hey guys, welcome back to another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. I saw this 2v2 on the system and I thought, you know what, we're going to go ahead and cast it because it looks like it could be a good game. We're going to have Monopoly of 1 and Executive or Executive. I think it's just supposed to be Executive. Um, or Executive, sorry, far out. Jeez, made a mess of that, didn't I? But I'll just call him, yeah, I'll call him Executive. Uh, that'll be fine. Monopoly of 1 and Super Duper Ultra Mega Nova playing as your dollar symbols here with 5 pace. I know it's supposed to be space, but he spells it with a 5 instead of an S. And he doesn't like it when I say that. I'm not too sure, actually. Let's just jump in and uh, get through all that. So we are going to be here on Forest... Ar no, jeez. Whoa, whoa. Forgotten Forest. It's Fotten Forest. There we go. So if we jump over here, we can see the Traveler 59 player uh, over here playing as the yellow... I think he's Traveler 59. Executive. No, is he... He's Traveler 59, look at that, far out. And we're going to have uh, his ally over here, Monopoly of 1, I believe... Uh, were they both Traveler 59? It is a random mirror, so I'm not 100% sure uh, what faction he's going to be. We have to wait until he drops something down. He's not Reaper, that's for sure. If we jump over here, we have Super Duper Ultra Mega Nova playing as Vanilla Nod. Here we go. Vanilla Nod with his ally over here, 5 pace. No, I better just call him Space. It's also a Nod faction. We can see that he has Stealth Harvesters, so he's either Nod or Mock. And uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup, so no GDIs in this 2v2 here. Uh, again, with only four players, it's not uncommon to see a faction missing from uh, these types of series here. There was a bit of a battle market down there, not sure what's going on. Looks like Executive has fast legs on his mind, and he has the fast legs done, but he hasn't moved out just yet. What is he planning to do here? Alright, he's moving out now, maybe not wanting to blow his cover by risking exposing himself to any enemy scouts, but Supernova has no scouts up the top, uh, neither does his ally at all, 5 space. Uh, <laughs> 5 space, fire out, what am I doing? Space, okay, but uh, yeah, surprisingly no buggy comes out. Oh, look at this, we have double operation center from these guys here. A Rax comes down, what's this Rax for? Is he's actually going to construct a Black Hand squad. Uh, it's, uh, no, he's got an engineer, so, wow, what is he planning on doing here? We've got a flame tank comes out, uh, executive sees the flame tank and he loses his scouts to it, so they're going to know that space is going for flame tanks, but super duper ultra mega nova has a double engineer reckon Is he going to cloak this? Oh my god, what is he, by the way, nod, so double nod, double nod, is he going to cloak his reckoner? There is a reckoner that comes out as well, they could get both the reckoners under the cloak. Uh, if they choose to do so, but I think that's what Supernova is doing because he's not moving out. The disintegrator squads are here. They will force these harvesters off the line. Oh no, this harvester here, it doesn't get pulled. It gets pulled a little bit too late and the executive not able to get the kill there. The black hands are going the long way around, unfortunately. And that harvester, wow, super duper risky, rushes back to the Tiberium. I think he could have, uh, executive could have taken that out and it wasn't the best defense by a space and Supernova. Battle markers over here. It looks like Monopoly of One will have an uh, easy time cleaning up that flame tank. Not even going to lose any units at all, which is not necessary. Three Seekers all from a different direction. See you later. And the other flame tank as well also cleaned up uh, with the help of Executive there. So a lot of Seeker tanks being forced out, of course. And uh, we have these, uh, we have this uh, Reckoner that's moving out. The Reckoner is stealth. You can see it is glowing there. So it is stealth. Uh, the I believe that uh, buzzer may have just revealed it though. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it has double engineer in it Where is the flame reckoner? That's the question though because space does have a flame reckoner somewhere on the map And I'm not sure where it is it up there. It is up there. Wow. It gets to deploy right into the middle of executives base This is not good. Where are the seeker tanks? His seeker tanks were out of positions so Which means he's gonna lose buildings. He could even lose the refinery. I believe he is gonna lose the refinery this is critical right now because uh, he's not going to have enough money to replace that. A lot of units firing at it now. We have a battle marker over there. It's nothing serious. Buzzer Swarm comes down or Buzzer Hive comes down. Can he save the refinery? It's going to be super tight. He's not going to be able to save the refinery. So it will go down. Executive in a lot of trouble right now. He doesn't have a refinery. He has double spike. He has pretty much sold all his buildings. He does have a power plant still. Battle marker over here. We can see that Supernova, Supernova's Reckoner, Stealth Reckoner, has been discovered by Monopoly of One. He must have been... A bit antsy about that, uh, realizing something was amiss. Maybe spot it earlier, but this is not going to get anything done, so unfortunately, and he's going to be like, but hang on a second, there's no black hand. There is no black hand at all. And look at how he sells the reactor. Not necessary. See these engineers come out, they're super duper dead. Oh no. No, I didn't. No, I went there and back again. So right now, Monopoly of One has a crazy economy double ref on the expansion. Only two harvesters need some more harvesters. No one's going for blue tip. Executive does have a force out, but he's still trying to get back a refinery. He's on spike technology. He's trying to get a refinery out with spikes, and he will be able to get one down now. 
uh, he kind of needs to place that light right now because uh, yeah, every second that he delays is just costing him more time. Uh, he does have these secret tanks down here. What can he get done with this? Probably not a lot because a lot of infantry is now going to be forced out, and he really doesn't have anything to do with uh, to deal with the infantry though. Uh, his ally is coming across, owning a single gun walker. Monopoly of One has a second gun walker backing this up now. And if their secret tanks all attack together, they can't. Where's the secret tanks? They're actually over here, so they are split up. And the Scorpion tanks will now be able to isolate and destroy these. So Monopoly needs to come over here and help him. But look at this. Uh, looks like uh, Executive realizes that this is a bit of an error and is pulling back towards the safety of his allies' tanks. Not back far enough. Loses a couple of secret tanks, but they will effectively defeat the Scorp army or push it back into a retreat now. These few gunwalkers now just cleaning up the infantry on the ground. Uh, Executive needs to get back in there and help his ally because he's pulling repair drones and they can completely deny harvesting here. And they need to deny harvesting because Executive is so hurt right now that he needs a lot of time and effort to get back into this game. And uh, right now, they're, they're, they're getting the work done. Uh, Monopoly is preventing any type of expansion from the Nod players. Finally, we'll be putting a refinery down with the Power Micros. So again, the reason why he does that is so he can actually start building other structures and he gets that out of his build queue. Battle Mark, uh, no, beaconing all over the place. Not 100% sure what the beacons were for, but uh, Monopoly will be deciding to exit this area right now and the Nod players will be allowed to complete their expansions here. Repair drones still chilling here. Obviously, they'll stick around for a little bit longer before dissipating. They actually last for quite a long time. These secret tanks, unfortunately, getting caught out. It looks like Space does have fully upgraded rocket squads here. No, they belong to Supernova. Uh, they they are orange, so that's uh, that's interesting. It is actually pretty tough to see that. We have some more infantry units moving across the middle of the map just to block anything that Monopoly might be doing. Has got quite a number of secret tanks still being constructed here and moving out and about. It does have a tech center. Only added a third harvester to its expansion, so not operating that effectively, but effectively enough. Uh, it looks like Executive has recovered. So he has recovered back in this game. So we're going to have a uh, somewhat normalized game here. These, these guys are going to be attacking another double black hand Reckoner comes in. And uh, that is going to go right into the space here. There is a mecha here, not able to, dis to stop that. And again, if it deploys with full armor, it's just so much harder to kill. Trying to focus the head down there, I think Supernova was with these mechas now. He's taking a lot of rocket damage. Oh, this other mecha as well, taking a lot of rocket damage to the head. And that is going to be the end of that mecha. That was a good focus fire there. Loses the refinery. Could go for the warp chasm, but no, he's going to go for this upgraded power plant and just cripple the uh, the power situation. No, does not quite finish it off. He needs to realize that space. Changing targets a little bit too soon. Uh, but I believe, nonetheless, he should be able to destroy this because nothing's actually attacking the side from the spike is attacking the Reckoner. Wow, look at that. These mechas could have saved that, but unfortunately cancels it. Doesn't get the bail. Not too important. Battle markers raging through the middle. Looks like these infantry forces are going to find the Seeger tanks. More battle markers don't hear. Mecha P's moving out. Monopoly of One is doing a brunt of the, or the, a, br the brunt of the work. Far out. Couldn't get my words out then. No one has taken blue tip just yet still, so still no blue tip taken. The mecha piece should be able to clean up this small group of infantry. They will lose a mecha, unfortunately. Supernova's going to be great. Uh, very happy about that trading. Oh, a second mecha. Is that two mechas that went down there? Not 100% sure, but that is not good at all. Battle markers raging up here. Disintegrator squads are over there. We've got more mechas getting chewed up, but he is going to be able to clean up these infantry squads as well. Uh, but Monopoly 1 has been very heavily delayed. It looks like Executive is actually attacking over here. Oh my god, these guys cannot stop each other right now. They are just going in. And it looks like the crush move is on the cards here. Not choosing to fight with the Gunwalkers, choosing to just move. And look at that buzzer swarm. Oh, rips through all the infantry there. That was critical. That was critical damage there. Supernova taking a lot of damage. There's not a lot left over for Executive. Not enough to really destroy this base or anything by the, by any means. Infantry standing on top here. And Mechapedes are making their way over here. Super Dupernova trying to target them down. Space trying to target down the head. He does have Dozer Blades. Obelisk come down, which means Supernova does have tech. And he misses the head, unfortunately. They're not able to hit the head of that Mechapede. These forces here just pushing these harvesters off the line. There's no Tiberium here, so Supernova could transition all his harvesters away. Uh, good move here from Monopoly. He's just saying, hey, look, you've got to put more Obelisk down or else I'm just going to chill here. Uh, just tearing up those uh, Scorpion tanks from 5 space there, or space. Uh, not able to pull those ones back. Or not, not. it's not a good idea to engage those, should I say. Try and take out the comm center here. Doesn't have an aggressive stance. We've got battle markers raging down here. It looks like a few Seeker tanks moving through that base there. Nothing... Uh, really nothing seriously happening over there though uh, and these guys will be moving back a lot of those tanks very heavily damaged you'd want to save those again space could get laser capacitors here that could be important especially against screen i think laser capacitors is definitely an upgrade which is very good against screen over some of the other factions and uh we got one two three four five six mechas here just tearing through over this area he might lose one good focus firing there and uh, he's moving down to this base as well scorpion tank still pursuing another mechapede will go down so not able to penetrate 
any areas of the base uh, space and Supernova just defending them out very aggressively here. That's a, I'd call it an aggressive defense by them, what they're doing. They are not giving these guys an inch, even taking this garrison here just to put more rocket damage down. Uh, Executive now has recovered, going for his own hexapod, and the delay on the hexapods has been insane because of that Reckoner. Uh, so we're not going to see any epic units out for at least another 50 seconds. These guys are having a hard time with their economy. Look at this. Uh, he, has he put down? Yes, he has put down another ref. I was going to say, where was it? He's right over there. So that's fine. Has a shock trooper squad, so he doesn't need to build too many to garrison this up. Got a gravity stabilizer as well. Mechas are just coming back to base maybe for some repairs. They're not too badly damaged. They're actually in pretty good health here. One of them, two, three of them have pretty damaged heads. But we have stealth tanks coming out. Stealth tanks pretty good against Mecha Peas as long as they don't get overwhelmed. He's actually going to take a swing. Oh, he force fires the ground. That's a big mistake there. He's going to lose one. He is going to lose one of the stealth tanks goes down. The other one will be evacuating here. There's no way to detect the stealth unless the Mecha Peas crash into it. So for some reason they do that. And he fires again and he just cleans it up. That was probably not a very good idea from Supernova. Not sure why he chose to engage there with just two stealth tanks against all of those Mecha Peas. I mean, you can trade, but... Uh, I mean, it's still, it's obviously better to trade a uh, stealth tank for a mecha peak because the mecha peak is more expensive if it's got, if it's fully grown because what do you got? You got like eight segments. So I think it's eight segments or is it nine or 10? I'm not sure, uh, but they're, they're $1,600 just to get the head. And we have some seeker tank or one seeker tank over here, stealth tower. They're not doing too much. He does have shard upgrade and he is starting to pick apart these power plants here. So that's, that's good work there. Uh, executive at least doing something, pressuring this top area. He will be falling back into the top right-hand corner of the map. Oh, do we have a tip vein? Where is that? It is over here. Oh, he phases. He phases the, the Mechapedes, and no Mechapedes will fall because of that. So, uh, Tiv Vayne there, $4,000 versus a $1,500 one. So, that you can see that he definitely got off lightly there. Of course, he has forced the phase out by one of these screen players. And with a double screen and double phase, that could be very frustrating. Space does have laser capacitors. What is his army of choice? No EMP buggies, but I believe it will be on the way. You can see that is upgrading so fast that it can only be EMP coils because it's a very very quick upgrade at 30 seconds we're going to see these raider buggies now there we go he just finished upgrading then and he can come in and he can uh, shut down this oh he misses he missed his first shot and these these scorpion tanks they need to watch out they're actually going to get crushed oh man i can't believe he missed all of his shots that was not a good way to go he did actually do a lot of damage to the hexapod these raider buggies they need to get out of they need to retreat they're not going to achieve too much more battle markers over here we have that last seeker tank will get cleaned up the nod faction is trying to hold space is trying to move forward he does get an emp down just before the buggies are destroyed. Oh, that's a very expensive support power and uh, or a very long recharge time support power. He will get another EMP blast up. No, it does not go off. He does not complete the animation before the buggy was destroyed. So unfortunately not gonna happen. Stealth Tower is here. Uh, we do have an obelisk. Is the obelisk actually inside the stasis? No, it shouldn't be. It's not firing. Maybe it is, I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't appear to be firing. EMP buggies are here, and they will shut down this one hexapod. There's a lot of units over here as well. We have Devastator warships in the sky, double obelisk here. Those obelisks are trying to destroy the hexapod. Phase comes down, actually gets a kill. Oh, the stealth tanks. Stealth tanks from the back. Two, three mecha peeves now going down, but the stealth tanks are trading. We've got mine strikes, we've got EMP. There's a big wide scale engagement happening here. All four players will be micro Oh, firing at the eradicator hexapod that is phase. It's not a good idea from uh, Supernova. He has realized it now and he's trying to recorrect. There is a phase corruptor which is doing a lot of damage. Ray Chen will go off and he needs to finish these corruptors. A few stealth tanks here. Still trying to get the Devastator warships. Did they get the MCV? No, they didn't even get close to the MCV. We have Venoms here as well. And there is a lot happening in this engagement here right now. There is a lot happening. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not they can save the Hexpod. That Hexpod is probably going to go down unless he gets teleported. Oh, last second teleport there. The Prodigy is there, but the Prodigy is pretty much... Oh, he actually gets it anyway. He gets it anyway, and he gets the Prodigy. That is not good. Executive not able. His, his Prodigy was on the front line, and he could only teleport it just back there. So that was not too good. And Supernova taking out more of these Mechapedes now, and it's really starting to take his toll. This Stealth and Harassment tip core against these Mechapedes doing a lot of damage. Space is here with his Redeemer now. And uh, he should be able to kill that Devastator Warship. These uh, few Venoms now responding to that as well. And he will take it out. Elite Venom, yes please. Does drop the racks just before it goes down. Stealth Tower just keeping this base very safe from any Prodigy harassment right now. And look at this, being forced to long range uh, or, or to put the refineries down before getting to the field because it's so desperate. But looks like Monopoly of One has also expanded down. Here's two Storm Columns. No one's taking the top field by the way. Everything's slowing down now. Or well, not really slowing down, but everything's just taking a, uh, taking their foot off the gas now as they just realize that they need to just recuperate, reorganize, regroup their forces here. This Devastator Warship is pretty much history. He sees the Prodigy, which is a bigger target, and Executive will lose that heroic 
Venom. That is not uh, something you want to see as a screen player. The Redeemer is in here. He's trying to destroy this refinery. He should be able to destroy two Storm Columns there as well. We have Shock Troopers coming out, and they're actually super good against what Space has. He needs these Venoms over here. Uh, a lot of these Shock Troopers coming out now. Again, they can shoot air, so they're actually good against Venoms. Of course, it depends how much Venoms they're actually uh, shooting at them. This Redeemer taking a lot of damage, so he might want to get out of there. He's going to try to flame this, uh, this Storm Column down. Yeah, a lot of damage coming down on Space's Redeemer. He needs to evac now. Uh, Supernova also has a Redeemer there as well. We have a Stealth Redeemer, of course. Now, I'm not sure if he just stealthed it then or if it was stealth before, from beforehand. A few Mechapes trying to find a gap. This one Seeker tank running into the stealth attack she needs. Teleports in these Shock Trooper squads as well. Here come the Venoms. Are they going to shoot at the Venoms? They will shoot at the Venoms. Will they get the... Oh, geez. A lot of destruction there. Did he get the Heroic one? No, he didn't get the Heroic one. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. He needs to shoot at... He's actually shooting at the Heroic one. Will he get it? He actually gets the Heroic Venom. So, there you go. There wasn't actually that many Shock Trooper squads there. Maybe five or six. And uh, they can do a lot of damage. That's the thing. If you haven't got a counter to them, uh, Travel 59, they're so fast as well. They can run so fast and they can teleport. Uh, they come uh, by default with the teleportation upgrade. So that's an uh, upgrade you don't have to actually get for them. At the same time, you do have to upgrade it. Articulators, which what the other screen factions don't have. So they still have two upgrades. We have EMP buggies coming down, doing a lot of damage now to this hexapod. Another EMP buggy will come in, does get the EMP blast down, this is very nice. Another phase is forced out, so these screen players still showing that they do still have the phase ability at their disposal. More storm columns coming down now, we've got stealth, the obelisk here, but there's no structures. You need to put a power plant in front of them so that the so that the, uh, the hex pods don't actually shoot at them. Because if there's a, a building in the way, they won't shoot at them. And if it's a stealth building, it's almost impossible, so uh, it makes it very difficult. One devastated warship causing a lot of problems here as well. We've got a battle marker at the back. It looks like stealth tanks are trying to get to work on these harvesters. Photon cannons with shard launches and storm columns as well. Not what you want to see. Venom's here getting shredded by these mechas. These disc mechas are oh so powerful and all those guys will be destroyed. Meanwhile, Rage Gen goes off. He can't phase while he's raged, but I believe they would be out of rage. Uh, sorry, phase fields at the moment. And looks like Executive is going to lose his hexapod there. Uh, lost his hexapod for the second time. That's no good. A lot of storm columns. We have three, four storm columns here at the moment. One of them did just get destroyed. That one Devastator Warship doing a lot of work, but with the stealth base, it's very difficult. The stealth tower is so far back that uh, they're going to have to fly that Devastator Warship uh, quite far forward, and of course it will be vulnerable to uh, AA. Uh, we have a few mechas getting taken out, trying to find a hole. Look at this. This is his power grid right here for Supernova. A few uh, obelisks just chilling in there as well to make it very difficult. Uh, EMP buggy not able to land his mark on Monopoly's uh, hexapod there. And we have, oh, he teleports in the tripod. It's, it's not in M range. It's not in M range. Oh, he does get an EMP blast off. Though. It was actually, that looked like it was just outside of the EMP range, but does get one EMP blast off. The hexapod taking a lot of damage. It is EMP'd. He can't move that. Is he going to lose this hexapod here? I believe he's going to lose it. He does lose it. He will go down, gets another EMP blast off. So he normally will lose his hexapod there. A lot of better confederacy goes down without more EMP blasts coming up. Doesn't do, do too much just to save with these corruptors here. We have a lot of disintegrators out now. Supernova taking a fair bit of damage. Spectre artillery is out and about though. We can see it's just taking effect. Firing from the backside there. But with the stealth base, it's going to be hard for the devastated warships to do a lot of damage. They can shoot at these base defenses that are revealing themselves by firing. Mind drop will come in and it looks like he just blew up most of his mines with that spectre shot. A lot of the Tiberium has been destroyed. We can see that Monopoly is trying to move around the back of this base here. Uh, Blue Tiberium being shared by both sides, I believe that Harvester will fall. We move back to the center. Most of the Tiberium, like I mentioned before, has actually been destroyed. So um, there you go. There's not actually a lot of reason to fight over this field right now. There's not a lot here. More Rage Gens go off. Two Redeemers, really hard to deal with, both stealth. Uh, these guys aren't going to be able to deal with that without their hexapods, I don't think, or a rather large army. Especially since the Nod factions have their base in support. Screen factions should be able to hold on to this area here. Storm columns, photon cannons coming down now. Beacons rolling up. Looks like there's Scorpion tanks taking out units over there. Meanwhile, Seeker tanks are moving down here. Mechapedes are over here. My god, it's all happening all over the map. Mechapedes are actually being destroyed, cleaned up relatively easily here. That's unfortunate though. He will be destroying some of these Venoms here. We got battle markers down here. No, that's something serious. Oh geez, we've got to focus on the action here. Meanwhile, the middle field has died down just a little bit. Units being destroyed. A few of these Mechapedes will escape down here at the bottom side of the map. We have a Disintegrator Squads trying to destroy these uh, Scorpion Tanks. They are getting thoroughly crushed though. And with those blades, they can't actually do the damage they need. But now that they've stopped moving, 
These incinerator squads have the opportunity to try to destroy these Seeker tanks. Very high DPS for the Disintegrators, but there's not a lot left there. He's running them over quite a bit. We've got Battle Markers down here. Stealth tanks have made their way down here and starting to take out Harvesters. There's no Tiberian in there, so it's not terribly important. Scorpion tanks now moving back through the middle of the base here and trying to do as much damage as they can. Should be able to destroy these power plants. Battle Market down here. Looks like the Seeker tanks are completely wrecked. Supernova's economy here. A lot of dead harvesters over here. And the shard upgrade just so powerful against these harvesters here. With the stealth detection, of course, Battle Marker over here lost another Mecha P. More stealth tanks coming out by Super Dupe Ultra Mega Nova. And he should be able to try to get the headshot here, which he is going to go for a tip for. Oh, so powerful. Takes one out. Should be able to clean the other one up. It's a veteran one, though. And meanwhile, this the battle for the middle is still ongoing. Look at this. This Devastator warship somehow can see this refinery. Unless he's force firing, he might actually be force firing. He's got an elite Devastator warship Monopoly does. That could go heroic, that's, uh, I mean, destroying the refinery is a lot of veterancy for them. Of course, they are $2,200, so they do need uh, quite, they need to do quite a lot of damage before they will rank up. And yeah, for some reason, he can actually see that power plant. I'm not sure if it was in stealth range. Starting to kill these infantry squads now, and uh, that's going to make its way to heroic, I believe. It's doing a lot of damage here. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. We'll have to check back on that one. Supernova's uh, redeeming is veteran. It is very heavily damaged. Space, I believe. I'm not sure where his mecha P, where his uh, Redeemer is. Did he lose his Redeemer? Did we miss that? I can't see it anywhere on the map. It's probably somewhere. No, it looks like it's gone. No, it's right there in front of me. Okay, so he didn't lose it, so it's still there. And he's got Heroic Devastator Warship. No shield upgrade, but uh, that is mighty powerful, that uh, Devastator Warship. 100% rate of fire, and of course about 150% more damage as well. Uh, so I believe that was the uh, the deets there. Uh, CGF did show me the deets, so I don't think it's no. I think it's 150% more armor there. That's it. It's not 150% more damage. I can't remember exactly how much damage it is. I've got it written down on a notepad somewhere, but uh, it is a lot, especially since it's doing more damage and it's shooting twice as fast. You know that's uh, that's a lot of damage. Of course, not going to do a lot to the Redeemer just because the Redeemer is uh, very resilient to grenade type weaponry. Trying to get this uh, drone ship down. The stealth tanks will be helping out. Doesn't get those last structures down. I really hope Monopoly of One does have... Oh, he's actually going to... He, he's he's uh, Devastator Warship being fired at. He's trying to get that out of there. It's taking a lot of damage. That's too much damage. And there it goes. It will be destroyed. A lot of stealth tanks get destroyed, though. A lot of fire and debris there. So he paid for it pretty heavily. Was it worth it? Probably to get rid of that heroic unit. This base here will fall. It's just a matter of time. But the screen factions have moved to the top now. And they are happily refining. Just one refinery each. Disintegrated squad's just chilling here providing excellent or superb protection from stealth tanks. The Cinegrator Squads are a really good way to protect your harvesters. Monopoly does have his Eradicator Hexapod back out. He does have a Gravity Stabilizer, which means he can reconstruct a drone ship. But no, he actually has a second one, so he doesn't even need to do that. Uh, we have Executive still has his drone ship over here. Trying to clean up these fields. Surprised that we've got, obviously, Icor Seed coming in. It would have been coming in quite a bit, but surprised there hasn't been a lot of growth accelerators or things like that now that we're getting into this uh, very... Heavily late game area. Supernova Spike may be under threat. I'm not sure if he plans on actually capturing that. Uh, he is actually capturing it, so it's going to be beneficial in the long game for him to actually capture these spikes here. So Supernova will be relieved of one of his spikes here that will now go to Executive, who now hold, controls three spike. So he's really going to feel that, you know, having three spike here. The Redeemer from Space is here getting some repairs from its repair pad, and it is Veteran as well. Supernova also has a Veteran. Redeemer getting repairs as well. They don't seem to have much else. These not factions here. They are trying to rebuild their harvesters, but the Squin factions are now somewhat in control, I believe. They, they've got the Nod factions on the defensive once again. The harassment from the Nod factions has ceased, uh, as I can see on the minimap here. Just for the time being, Supernova might have some stealth tanks rolling around somewhere, but uh, that Rage Gen doing a lot of damage. These other few Seekers trying to evac this area, but they're probably not going to get away. The Nod Factions have been left with the middle field. There's not really that much Tiberium here. There's actually a big chunk of blue tip. And this Hexapod is moving around the bottom of the map here from Monopoly getting stuck behind its own Corruptors there. That's uh, that's not good. Need to get some more Harvesters over here. Executive, sorry, Monopoly of One does have a single Harvester here, just refining that. A few Harvesters. Growth Accelerator is now coming out from these factions here, so realizing that's going to be the way to go. Rage Gen goes off. The Cinder Air Squad will be attacking one another. And there's actually not a lot here. No, he does use the Stasis. He does use the Stasis, so he needs a tripod. Um, surprise, no Mastermind coming out from uh, Monopoly of One, and the Prodigy has been abandoned by uh, by Executive there, losing a couple of times unnecessarily. That Corruptor completely dominating that Black Hand squad. That was never a fight they were going to win. 
more EMP buggies coming out now that they realize, I believe they realize the Hexpot is actually down here now. And uh, he will be trying to EMP and destroy that. Unfortunately, not able to uh, to really destroy the Redeemer. That phase, sorry, that Stasis was somewhat wasted. I mean, it slowed him down and delayed him. But there's really not a lot here. Supernova is deciding to retreat. Maybe it can't see too far in the space, realizing that something will respond. There is a Mastermind there now, so teleporting a tripod could be very dangerous here. The uh, Hexpod does get EMP'd, and uh, he's got more EMP buggies here. These bikes trying to take out these guys here, but uh, he doesn't like space. He doesn't have Tiberium Core missile, so it will take a while to kill those stealth tanks now fighting the uh, Seeker tanks. And that's not a fight they really want to take because the Seeker tanks are a very, very inexpensive, very cheap unit to produce and to trade with stealth tanks, which are really expensive. That's that's going to be hard, especially with the Shard upgrade. It will do so much damage. These stealth tanks now are trying to get an angle on the Hexpod. Obviously, what, what he wants to do. He's actually firing it straight out, and that's not a good idea. He wants, he needs his ally to EMP it, and then he can engage with these tanks. That'll be fine. We got a rage gen happening, so we got a battle marker over there. Supernova's uh, a unit, sorry, Redeemer is way out of position. This is what he wants. He wants the EMP to come down. Now the stealth tanks can use their huge damage. Oh no, the phase didn't work because of the rage gen. Oh man, Monopoly not aware of that, or maybe Executive is trying to phase. I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't work. If you, you can't phase a raged unit because it, it's classed as an enemy unit and you can't phase enemy units. So unfortunately they wasted the phase and lost his hex squad. It's a double punch there for the Nod factions doing a lot of damage now, starting to move around. Oh my God, look at all the stealth tanks he's got here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got about 12 stealth tanks here. He is really spamming these stealth tanks right now. Just getting repairs on that damaged one there. The Redeemer did fall back from uh, Supernova. So it is back here. We have uh, fully upgraded Annihilator Tripods now with their shields. That's going to be a problem because they're now they're going to be uh, a serious threat. Obviously, Bite Buggy will get completely destroyed by these uh, Annihilator Tripods. They really can't fight that at all. And of course, they've got the EMP ability here as well. Battle Marker over here. Stealth Tanks now will be getting shot at. And they do get caught in the, uh, the, the, the slow field here. But uh, unfortunately, they are actually all going to escape. So not, uh, not the best idea there. Not the best use of that uh, ability. And we can see here a lot of use of these shard seekers here as well. Again, they are pretty good. Rage Gen will go off and he will be trying to snipe that tripod down. He will get it. A lot of tripods coming out from Monopoly of One here. And uh, as you can see, these stealth tanks actually just trying to overwhelm them. Uh, he needs to be careful. He phases them. He does phase. I'm not sure what he was trying to achieve with that. He did EMP the Redeemer. It is elite now, but he can't continue to EMP it because he's got phased tripods here. There's Devastator Warships here, but look at the stealth tanks coming out. Oh man, the Nod Factions. The screen factions don't have an answer for this right now. They do have some Seeker tanks here. Does manage to EMP one, not really gonna change much. We have Shock Troopers coming out now, which is a really good idea from Executive. Seeker Shock Trooper at the moment is gonna be a really hard counter of this stealth uh, faction here. Uh, Hexapod is here by uh, Monopoly of One, so just keep an eye on the main field here. We do have EMP buggies come down. That's gonna be a big problem. There's nothing to heal. This is one Devastator Warship here. And look at the damage. Oh my God, these stealth tanks just completely eating that Hexapod. They will destroy it. This one tripod comes in, claims a few uh, tank kills, three tank kills before he goes down. A lot of burning husk there. He does get an EMP blast off, surprisingly. And is he just going to go all out for the Redeemer? He's got to watch out. He's getting flanked pretty heavily. Can he actually destroy this? A lot of damage coming down the Redeemer. And Space is going to lose his Redeemer. He got it to elite status and unfortunately will go down. So it was worth expending all those forces here. He's now going to try and target the stealth tanks. One stealth tank goes down these, uh, these units here again. The Shock Troop is doing a majority of the damage, destroying more of these stealth tanks. They could just teleport out of there now instead of sticking around. Will they teleport out? Did we have, we got a heroic Shock Trooper squad? Okay, but they are dead now. This Devastator Wars, it's pretty much history. Monopoly 1 does have a few Shock Troopers. I believe they were for garrisoning the, uh, the Hexapod, but they never got around to it because he doesn't have any disc upgrades for them. I'm not sure if he's planning on doing that because, to be honest, Executive Shock Troopers are just way better and uh, he'd need his ally to, to support with Devastators and, uh, and Tripods, whereas he can support with uh, Shock Troopers. It has a Prodigy inside the Hexapod with double Shock upgrade, and this game is still on, so yeah, with Space losing that very heavily ranked Redeemer, that now resets him back down to... Uh, he actually has to rebuild his uh, Reclamator facility. <laughs> Reclamator facility, a Redeemer engineering facility. Wow, look at this. Uh, Supernova obviously not realizing that. So heavily engaged in combat that his main field is almost completely regrown. And uh, this is a problem. Executive actually rolling with a quite an interesting unit combination, which is proving to be very uh, very potent versus what the Nod players are using. Uh, we have some Storm Columns come down. Yeah, those Stealth Tanks are not getting into that field. Look at this. Blue Tiberium, someone needs to do something about that. It looks like uh, Space does have a Harvester down there. Hexapod is going to be engaging here. Whoa, look at that cell. 
Is he going to use the redemption ability here? I believe he might. No, I think it's just to kill all the shock troopers, which are immune to EMP weaponry here. A lot of the shock troopers actually know that a lot of the militants, but they are getting attacked already now. Wow, this is pretty crazy. I'm not sure where those uh, those rockets were going that were flying off into the sky. I'm not sure if there was like a storm rider or something flying around. What was that? I don't know even sure what that was. They were shooting at something. There is actually a devastated warship over here. He is trying to evac this area now. He's going to find it hard, uh, tough going. I don't think he's going to get away yet. Yeah, these stealth tanks are going to cut him off, but the stealth tanks might get hit. They will teleport. Oh, there we go. So maybe that's what, the, what it was like. So it was a teleport there. And a storm column will come down. That devastated warship will fall. Area mind control. He takes several of these uh, these stealth tanks, and he might just want to move them right next to the, uh, the storm column so that he can destroy them. If he sends them off, it's going to wear off. It is going to wear off, and he's just giving the tanks back to Supernova. I'm not sure what exactly he's doing there. He should have moved them back into his base so he could rapidly destroy them once the uh, area mind control wore off. A few bite buggy coming through here, but no tip core. Not going to do too much. And look at that. He basically just gave them straight back. He should have moved them right in here. And then when they came back to under Supernova's control, the Storm Column could have just destroyed them. Uh, unfortunately, though, he's going to lose his harvest here. There's actually a lot of Tiberium on the field. Forces a phase on just a single harvest. That is very good there. They're not going to be able to use that on the Hexapod, which is actually at the middle field now. And it looks like uh, Supernova's Redeemer is now responding. This game is all over the place. It's so messy. There's so much Tiberium left on the field as well, which is a problem. Uh, because these guys aren't able to refine it. The stealth tanks, rear armor, look at that. This mass stealth tank by Supernova, and he completely shuts that down. That is massive. More tripods in here now, but they're not going to be able to do anything. There's way too many stealth tanks here, and Supernova. Look how much the DPS, the damage of these rockets is insane. Uh, of course, these uh, stealth tanks don't have a lot of armor, so he needs to be careful. They are a bit spongy. If they come across one of them shock trooper hit squads, they could be in trouble. But he's built a lot of these. He's lost a lot in the game, obviously, but he has built a lot of them as well. Uh, there's like 14, 15 stealth tanks there right now. That is crazy huge. Uh, we have Seeker tanks and shock troopers still being produced here by Executive. He should have a hexapod, I believe. He didn't. No, did he lose it? He phased it, didn't he? Yeah, it is. It's over here. I was going to say he still has. He still retained that one with all of its hard points as well. Uh, he will be trying to come in here and destroy these units. Stealth tanks are here. Is he going to try to focus those? He will start focusing the stealth tanks. Does not quite get that heavily damaged one here, and it's very messy. This is a very messy engagement, but Supernova comes out ahead there. Very nicely done, and once again, EMPing the hexapod and the stealth tanks here. So effective at cleaning this up. I mean, obviously, if the hexapod wasn't stealth, he'd be able to splash down tons of them at a time, but... Uh, sorry, if the hexapod wasn't EMP. But uh, nonetheless, so... Hexapods have been removed from the field of play. I believe he might be going back. Yeah, look at this. Uh, we have another hexapod coming out here by Monopoly of Fine, but they've lost their hexapods so many times now. I mean, Space has only lost his Redeemer once, and I don't think Supernova has lost his at all. Very hard to kill those stealth units there, but these uh, these units are moving through. A lot of disintegrators being produced here uh, because of the stealth tank threat. He doesn't really have much else to, to deal with that. I mean, he could get shielded uh, seekers, which would probably be a good idea because he can get the shield upgrade. He can spam seekers, and, and the seekers will actually be able to destroy just about anything because the shard upgrade does a lot of damage there. Pop on that buggy, pretty quick, smart. He could just spam them. Uh, it'd be very easy to spam, especially with the amount of Tiberium that's left on the map. He could build quite a large force of them, and the stealth tanks won't be able to cost effectively engage. The stealth tanks will overkill like crazy, and the uh, secret tanks will do a lot of damage. EMP Blast going to come down now. We have a battle marker over here. Looks like he's starting to take out these power plants here by Super Duper Ultra Mega Nova. And these two Devastator warships are pretty much history. They need to do some damage right now. They're actually going to try to go. No, they're going to turn around. They will fire at these units here, not really achieving too much, and they will be completely destroyed. Has to has to stasis his, or his own unit there, his own hexapod, which is a very expensive support power. Uh, sorry, very long cooldown support power here. But uh, again, this base here is being pretty much shredded. Uh, he needs to watch out his shock troopers are overlapping just a little bit here. Might want to just grab that stealth tower real quick just to make it more difficult for them to defend. Heroic militant squads, not what you want to see. And he is going to e back over this area now. A lot of Tiberium still here, Supernova and Space, unable to properly refine that right now. But as you can see, uh, Hexabot is saved. So he did obviously teleport that away from the engagement after the, sa the, the stasis wore off. Uh, so uh, more stealth tanks down. Wow, a lot of stealth tanks moving around. They could literally just start sniping buildings at this point, and uh, we'll lose a few of them. But he is going to get the tech center there, and uh, yeah, a couple of stealth tanks will be destroyed. And uh, putting down these units here now, that, that uh, lightning spike will probably get destroyed. It's probably yeah more cost effective to put down photon cannons at this point in time because he only needs uh, barracks to place those. And with shard upgrade, they are very potent indeed. 
we have space does have a lot of infantry down here but they don't have any upgrades completely unupgraded here and uh, yeah the stealth tank hit squad just causing problems elite redeemer not looking good there he doesn't want to obviously to let that get heroic or the other factions should i say a lot of tiberium regrowing here and uh yeah we'll have to see how this goes uh, we have uh, Storm Column here just cleaning up space. He doesn't have Tip Core. A few upgrades still missing here. Could be seeing a wormhole come in because there is a lightning spike here trying to destroy Supernova's tech center. Very undefended base here, by the way. And he will just sell an operation center just to get the flame units. Beaconing over here as well for space. He's going to rebuild his Redeemer finally. And we have uh, the drone ship being moved. He's actually got multiple drone ships, so obviously for the... Uh, the photon cannons which will be very effective a lot of uh, storm columns being left down here as well a lot of Tiberium here being refined they need a few more harvesters I think actually there's four no three harvesters here from Monopoly three harvesters here from uh, from uh, what do you call it executive they've got an elite stealth tank it does get fired at he's got to be careful uh, that could go down and it, is, it has lost its stealth because of course it uh, it's in heavy damage mode so it can't actually and we do have a teleport away Look at this, this drone ship has not been identified as moving to the top of the map just yet. If they were to establish a base here with lots of photon cannons and devastator warships, they could destroy everything here and he wouldn't be able to rush in because of the, the photon cannons there being very powerful. A lot of teleportation happening now. These guys not 100% sure what they're after. Does say, hey, look, oh, oh my god, is he going to call in? No, this is not going to work. There's way too many stealth tanks here and that is not going to work at all. Oh man, if the stealth tanks, if they weren't there... If the stealth tanks were there, no worries, that could have worked. But the stealth tanks were there, and he's not going to be able to defend this. He's going to put down photon cannons, but they're not going to be able to do anything. I think this asteroid is going to miss. Yes, it pretty much hit nothing, and it just gave them more Tiberium. doesn't even sell the signal transmitter there. So a failed mothership attempt. And again, if the stealth tanks weren't there, it could have worked. If the stealth tanks were down here, he would have been fine. But unfortunately, actually blew up one of those own stealth tanks there. This is a really big problem for the screen factions right now, this mass mass stealth tank so what's he got he's got uh, an elite one there that might have been the elite one from the other side of the map although it probably would have been destroyed i think it wouldn't have got back through all of that without being destroyed no i wouldn't imagine i'd imagine that's just a different one trying to get some repairs here off of his allies war factory a lot of emp buggies being supplied by space now and uh, look at the map this is what i've been saying for the last five ten minutes there's so much tiberium on the map the middle field is basically regrown look at this wow he actually pulled out a big bunch of tripods here uh, executive doesn't have shields can he get the EMP off no I don't believe he will be able to get the EMP off the stealth tanks are responding a lot of damage comes down on the Redeemer because these tripods do have or can deal a lot of damage the stealth tanks are here is he gonna try to save these he's gonna lose his whole force I don't think he's gonna get the Redeemer no he's not gonna get it he realizes it now and he tries to switch targets but all of these oh man one two three four five six six trees eighteen thousand dollars worth of uh, tripods have just been thrown away. They destroyed basically nothing. Oh man, that's not good for the screen factions. They can't be wasteful at this point in the game. Uh, Rage Gen will go off, which means he can't phase. And here we go, EMP blast. Oh, geez. Teleport, that was obviously an EMP glitch, which is an exploit, but we can pretty much forgive him for that because it was basically instantaneous. So he probably didn't uh, mean to do that intentionally. Phase will come down, so luckily they've got the teleport and the phase here and a lot of photon cannons coming down supernova is taking a lot of damage here there are avatars avatars getting crushed this is not good at all these uh these uh photon cannons are so potent they're so powerful with shard upgrade that uh you really need heavy armor to engage them or artillery that seeker tank being destroyed some devastator warships would be nice to just sit under this protective layer there's no artillery from the nod factions here and that tripod will be destroyed. He's moving the drone ship even closer. Once they get close, there are a few venoms here. There's nothing to deal with the venoms. The hexpod will be able to fire at the venoms once they uh, once they come back. And he has to deploy because the venoms probably could have sniped the. Uh, oh, look at that! He what happened there? I'm not 100 sure what happened there, but yeah, he could have sniped the drone ship with the venoms maybe, or they probably wouldn't have enough DPS. That hexpod is destroyed. I did see. Was there artillery? There's so much going. On, I can't even commentate. All the other hexpod has fallen as well. This is not good. There's a few spectre artillery here, and he's desperately trying to push into this base, but the not factions have got all their forces here they're trying to defend it very thoroughly and there is a lot actually space is actually taking a lot of damage on this redeemer here and these photon cannons all bunched up and now uh, super tight targets for these specs there's actually only a single spectre artillery second spectre artillery coming out now a few of these stealth tanks now being destroyed photon cannons are here shock troopers are here as well just trying to do everything they can to push into this base but they're starting to be blunted i think the nod factions sorry the screen factions now their attack is starting to slow. Yeah, it's they've worn themselves out a little bit here, and the Nod factions have held. 
it was messy, it was very messy, but they're still alive here. Photon Cannon comes down, sorry, Plasma Missile Battery, but the Venoms are just chilling back here, not required anymore. Spectre Artillery now firing from the rear. There's only, oh, there's actually three of them. He might want to get the third one firing because it's going to take a while to destroy this. Prodigy is here. What's the Prodigy going to be able to do? Rage in goes off, so not a lot while it's Rage, but it has got a move order. And here we go, the Venoms come in, dispose of that nice and easy with the Rage there. Since it was Raged, he couldn't give it any orders. And now this drone ship taking a lot of damage. Redeemer's firing. Oh, he's got a heroic Redeemer. A heroic Redeemer. He does, and he, oh my god, he used that on his own units and it didn't even save it. Oh my god. Monopoly of One and Executive are falling apart here now. That, that was a disastrous engagement there. It looked good at the start, now it's turning disastrous. Battle markers raging elsewhere. Can they do anything to turn this game around? That is the question. What do they have left? Not a lot. A few corrupt, it's just chilling. Space is Redeemer over here and uh, Supernovas over here. The stealth tank numbers have been reduced, which is, I guess, one thing that's going for them. Uh, we don't have any heroic ones just yet. This Redeemer now moving in. Beacon is placed by Executive here. Not sure what he plans on doing here. They need to try to defend out this next attack, though. Because this is going to do a lot of damage. And look at the Tiberium down here. And this is bad. Supernova and Space both refining on this with a lot of harvesters. They're going to be able to reconstruct a very large army very quickly. And now this base is under siege. I'm not sure if the screen factions can defend this. There are four or five Spectre Artillery. And now in that type of number they are effective against these buildings. I believe they're force firing the ground. Because they're actually not even hitting the refinery there. Uh, they might have been force firing it. So... Yeah, they are, because they're still firing at that one spot on the ground, not actually hitting the other refinery. Might want to recorrect that. Meanwhile, the Squid Factions are making a move down here. They have completely turned around and hitting the south side now, and they will be able to do some damage here. Supernova has a few defenses to keep him busy, but uh, the Heroic Redeemer is here, which is a real problem, of course, and sure, oh, he shot down some of his own Devastator warships, which is never good. Uh, Vapor Bomb comes in. He does teleport the Hexpot away, and this army, wow, they got completely stomped then. It looked like it was they were in a good position and they could do a lot of damage, but yeah, they got completely denied there. That was not good. That was obviously very good from the Nod Factions to be able to react so quickly and to, dis to uh, disable such a powerful attack force so readily. Storm Columns now defending this base are now under fire by these Spectre Artillery. He still just has the five Spectres here. Just moving with the five, obviously able to destroy a structure reasonably quickly with that amount of Spectres here. Firing that storm column there, and he does realize there is a mastermind here, but of course, this is the thing there's not enough double A, and uh, these venoms are happy to just go in, sacrifice a couple of venoms to kill that because uh, it's, it's much better to kill the, the mastermind, get that out of the way, prevent any teleportation abilities or mind control abilities. Now, Supernova is setting up in this area. The Screen Factions are going to try to defend this, they're not out of this game just yet. He, uh, Monopoly has rebuilt his hexapod, and he will be moving forward, and he will push away Space's army. A lot of stealth tanks just waiting here in ambush. Meanwhile, we have harvesters being destroyed. Look at this. There's actually not a lot of defense down here. And there's a lot of Tiberium as well. And uh, Executive could do a lot of damage. Getting another harvester. Should be able to get a third one as well. Will be able to nail that one. And he's just going to suicide in to get as many harvesters as possible. Space just lost four harvesters. That was a very effective harassment there. And he's actually going to get a fifth harvester. He will get it. Now he could probably just try to destroy some of these Venoms with the Shard upgrade. Not actually going to happen. But yeah. Trading a small portion of Shock Troopers and uh, Seekers for five Harvesters. Space is going to be feeling that. That was a good portion of his economy. Tip Chem Plants are back out by the Nod Factions. What's happening over here? Tripod getting completely destroyed. Venom's responding as well. All the really nasty late game Nod stuff is out on the field. And the Squid Factions are having a tough time dealing with it. Right now, they've got a Tripod here. Could try to... Uh, EMP that all oh, setting up the Spectre artillery, but they're in range of a storm column here. One Spectre will fall. A second Spectre may also get yeah, second Spectre will go down, so he's reduced just to three Spectres. That's going to slow any type of push if they rely on artillery. Hexapod is here. He's going to try to focus down these, uh, not beam cannon, sorry, radar buggies. Not able to destroy them, and he will be trying to go for an EMP. Does get an EMP blast off, but the tripod itself. Oh, Catalyst Missile comes down. See you later, Corruptors. Base field comes out, actually EMPing some of his own. Uh, what do you call it? Stealth tanks. And he's just falling back, realizing that's not a good idea. More storm columns coming down now. How much longer can Monopoly continue to uh, to, to part down these storm columns? Though, getting a good crush off. More storm columns coming down. Those those stealth tanks which were left behind will actually get destroyed. At least some of them, anyway. An executive here will lose a storm column. They are now firing in range of the drone platform. There's only three Spectres that will take a long time, or quite some time, to destroy 
a, uh, a drone ship with just three spectres uh, and I think he might be looking at lifting it off perhaps I think this is going to be another storm column that hex spot as soon as it uh, <coughs> defazes it is pretty much history he will get the crush off on some of these units he does get teleported oh my god the stealth tanks oh man there's so much stealth tanks this is crazy I haven't seen this play like this for quite some time the drone ship is about to fall uh, did supernova just leave the game <coughs> Supernova just left the game. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe he disconnected. Maybe he disconnected. And there was really no reason for him to actually leave the game then. But he is out of the game, so Space will have to fight these guys by himself. Again, he might have lost connection, or maybe he had to go. This game has been on for quite some time. But now Space is left with two Redeemers, double nod technology. He's being harassed down here again. Doesn't have anything to respond to that. I mean, there's a lot of him. There's a lot for him to control right now, so he's probably having a bit of a tough time doing that. But uh, we'll see how he goes. Venoms are actually responding down to the Seeker harassment down here. And there's so many Venoms that they will actually be able to overwhelm these Seeker tanks here. Without shields on the Seeker tanks, they're probably not going to be able to beat uh, this amount of Venoms here. So that's not going to happen. But uh, Monopoly of One and Executive are pushed back into the corner now. And Five Space with a double Redeemer. He's got one of them is Heroic. The other one is Elite. And uh, Executive now is losing his main base. So I think this is pretty much GG. Uh, because space has so much map control here, so much economy, so much at his disposal here that he really can't, uh, he can't lose it from here. Look at all the stealth tanks! It, I mean, Supernova must have just left his, his war factory, he's building like a hundred stealth tank each or something like that. He's just rolling in here, Mind Strike will come down. He could just flatly open and engage this uh, X spot. It doesn't even matter that he's going to lose quite a few. He does teleport it away. We can see the rockets doing some type of funky chicken dance there. But uh, nonetheless, he's got a few units over here. The Shock Trooper squads will eventually be cleaned up. Double Redeemer. He's got two. Has he got two Heroic Redeemers? He's got two Heroic Redeemers. How are you going to deal with that? You're not going to deal with that. You are going to die. Venom's getting completely destroyed there, which is, I guess, it's a minor plus for him. But really, what are they going to do? Uh, Monopoly has to come back to defend his base. Otherwise, he's out of the game. These two heroic redeemers, he needs to isolate and EMP them. If there was one, that would be fine. But the thing is, there's two of them. How is he going to stop two of them? Both have a flame and a repair pad in opposite sides there. That's interesting. Um, if you like that kind of thing. Yeah, the screen factions now have been pushed into the corner. These stealth tanks, you can see they're there because obviously that one isn't stealth because it's in heavy damage mode. But uh, space really just needs to move in here. I would imagine he is cranking some serious cash. He's almost got 10 grand at the moment. Uh, the screen factions are actually pretty well off as well. They got quite a lot of money as we can see there. Uh, Stasis comes down, gets both of the uh, the uh, redeemers there, but he's got two tripods. Can he micro a double EMP? That's gonna be, that's gonna be the question. He's actually gonna straight up engage this hexapod. He doesn't even care. That's a lot of damage. One volley, just almost destroying it. Look, it's just never-ending missiles there, and he will just destroy. It. He doesn't even care anymore. And the rage gen. Look at this. Is he gonna get the double EMP blast? Oh, he gets the double EMP. Oh my god, the impossible just happened. We have a vapor bomb coming. Not gonna be enough. He got the double EMP, but is it going to be enough? The stealth tank's actually getting just pushed in. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. He is going to try to come. A rage gen actually got off. He got a rage gen off. He didn't re-EMP. He should have re-EMP. And now he's going to free the other Redeemer. And there's pretty much nothing left to stop this. There's nothing. There's no EMP weaponry left for the screen factions. They have no tripods, which means these Redeemers are pretty much unstoppable here. The stealth tank numbers have been dwindling because space kind of just threw them all in there. Uh, just trying to break these guys and with the amount of economy he has. You can't really blame him for doing that. He's probably not too fast. He's destroying the majority of everything down here. And Executive is being pushed out of the game. This is the point where you pretty much sell up. And look at that. Both screen factions selling out at the same time. They're trying to see who can sell out faster. Monopoly of one able to sell out faster because uh, I believe Executive had some structures at the top which he forgot about. But... Uh, but that was actually a pretty good game. I mean, if you look at how good the gameplay was, it was pretty good. The engagements by all the factions were really good. There was a few moments where they did kind of expend or throw some units, but you got to expect that in such a long game for to have some bad engagements happen. But, uh, wow. If we look at the resources graph, the screen factions really dominated in the... Actually, no, Supernova... Yeah, no, well, essentially only Fire, only Space actually uh, succeeded because Supernova may have disconnected or, or had to go or for whatever reason so supernova and space will uh win this game here but uh the economy was not in their favor but again the control just was look at the unit faction there monopoly of one why do you have so many units it's got to be a glitch isn't it it's got to be a glitch maybe it's the mecha segments i don't know i think they count but that's stupid 
Uh, that's obviously not right as well because of the base defenses uh, that Snod can build. They never really fix that in the stats, but resources is accurate. That's what we care about. So if we have a look at the the score, 846,000 to 652,000. So you look at that, almost $200,000 more for the screen factions, and they were unable to win that game there. It just goes to show how well the, the Nod factions played in that game. And yeah, the screen factions did get a bit antsy. They did throw away a little bit too many units, but you can see their, their, their thought process behind it. They thought they were ahead. They thought they were going to do more damage. But yeah, there's a few moments there. If they, if they, if they slowed the game down a bit, I don't know, maybe more Devastators, more packs, more multi-MCV, things like that, or packs in general. Maybe not packs because there was too many stealth tanks, but uh, nonetheless, they needed to do it something a little bit different, but that was, uh, well, that was 48 and a half minutes, that didn't feel that long, I better wrap it up now because it's a long video, but that was a great game, well done to all the players, I'm Green Zero, and I'll catch you all in the next video.